Hey guys, welcome back to Golden Gaming, where in this video we're going to be doing another rematch with Hog Rider and Mini Gioni. It looks like neither of them can really get out of each other's hands, but Hog Rider looks to be wanting another rematch. He's gonna, he wants to try and try and try again until he wins, but we're going to be seeing if Hog Rider can pull off at least one tower in this episode between Hog Rider and Mini Gioni. So, without further ado, Let's just get straight into the match between Hog Rider and Mini Journey once again into the arena. And it looks like Hog Rider has actually switched his deck again. He's gone to a giant Sparky Hunt deck. So the aim of Hog Rider's goal is to try and get a giant and then a Sparky behind and then try and use his spells plus his splash damage to try and support that. So the same strategy coming out from Mini Journey. It looks like he's just going to stick with the giant witch hunter. Wall Breaker Baby Dragon deck or whatever it is. So a really offensive giant Sparky coming up from Hog Rider. It looks like Mini Gioni doesn't want to see that. He's going to decide to fireball and actually hit the predictive wizard coming out from Hog Rider. That is absolutely massive coming up for Mini Gioni here. <laughs> he, can he has the ability to spell out his wizard, which is going to help him a ton in this match against Hog Rider. The Sparky looks to not get a shot against the skeletons of the witch doing splash damage to the tower. So Baby Dragon does come out from both players. Wall Breakers do come down from Mini Gioni. I think only one of them connected. I'm not actually too sure. I think only one of them connect on um, one of the Wall Breakers connected. I don't think any of them did, but a hunter is forced to come out from Mini Gioni to defend that Baby Dragon. And this is looking at, like a very, very, very sexier match than what the other previous two were. For Hog Rider at least. Hog Rider's gameplay in the previous two were absolutely horrible. The second one, definitely better, but not again, not too good. But it looks like he's doing far better in this match than he is in the previous ones. And he's going to take down the tower with the... Oh, no, he's not, actually. He, the giant barely comes down in time for the tower. So he's going to use the arrows on the skeletons and the tower and the witch and the giant. He's going to take that tower down to 20 HP. That giant should be able to finish it off getting that one punch there it does. Hog Rider is now one tower up in this match. So the wizard does come down from Hog Rider to clean out this push from uh, Mini Gioni. Fireball does come down from Mini Gioni and it looks like it looks like Mini Gioni might actually still have a chance to actually pull back through. So a very aggressive play coming out from Mini Gioni. It looks like that tower will be taken down by one of the wall breakers and it looks like Hog Rider is a bit angry to do with that because he could have won this. So you're probably thinking behind dear geez I might actually lose this so another hog rider, um, another giant coming down from both players but the baby dragon is coming down from mini juni slightly in front of the giant which is not really what mini juni wanted but it's there it's doing damage against the uh, the giant of mini juni's a very offensive witch in the pocket trying to snipe down the hunter fireball misplay comes down from hog rider I bet you hog rider actually thought the sparky was not from the giant and not the witch but the sparky actually does kill the witch first, and the four looks of fire from was an absolute waste. The spark, a very offensive giant coming down from Mini Journey in the base of Hog Riders, and it looks like one wall breaker will get there for the hits. Wizard and the Hunter will lock onto the tower, and good game does come out from Hog Rider. What a turnaround from Mini Journey. Mini G, Mini Journey was probably thinking in the first two minutes of regulation, yeah, he might win this, but when Double Elixir came. He absolutely throttled him from behind, and he comes out and says, you're not going to win a match against me. So, currently we've got a dominating streak against Hog Rider. It looks like Hog Rider isn't really in much of a dominating position. It looks like he hasn't won any match to do with um, Gioni of any sort. Mini Gioni is currently 3-0 against Hog Rider, but yeah, a little bit of a spoiler alert. Next episode will also be a Hog Rider versus Gioni match. I'm not going to show who's going to win because obviously that spoils the episode, but there is going to be a fourth rematch against the two. Um, it looks like Hogwarts is really desperate looking for this next match, but I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Subscribe to Golden Gaming down below. Follow us on all social medias that will also be in the description below. But yeah, that's been pretty much it, so take care guys.